Hey guys, this is Danette with Fierce at 50 Plus, a channel dedicated to fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle for that mature human, whether that is in age or in feeling. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please do me a favor, subscribe to my channel, come on this journey with me. And with that, let's get into this coach unboxing. Okay, so you guys know how I like to talk. I am not gonna do that this video, I promise, but just pointing out a couple things. First is the background. My kids told me that I should change up my background, so that's what I'm in the process of doing, and it is a work in progress right now, so it's a little wonky, I need to put some shelving up, all that good stuff, so just bear with that for now. But what you can see in the background is this beauty. This is my new, or my latest, baby to my collection. This is the Louis Vuitton Theta GM bag that I unboxed last week. If you haven't seen that video, I will link that up below, up, up above and certainly down below so you can check that out. But this is the newest addition to my family and I will have it right here for a little bit of eye candy. Also, I want to thank everyone who gave suggestions on my menopausal hair shedding, the excessive shedding I am experiencing. I am taking all of that to heart. I've made doctor's appointments. I've married dermatologist appointments. I plan to get the vitamin and, def and mineral deficiency test just to see how I can combat this. In the meantime, I am rocking my hat, which is something that I might be doing in some upcoming videos as well. Just bear with me on that. But although I think my hat is is cute, um, <clears throat> but you will see that because I'm just trying to figure out what to do with my hair. And then finally, I just wanted to say thank you as always. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. This community is so special to me. I just wanted to make sure I express that to you. So thank you. All right. See, that was fast. Last time I was like five minutes in still talking. You know, okay, get to it. So anyway, I have a coach unboxing. I've already opened it up, um, but haven't opened the box box yet, but it comes like this. I forgot to ask for, um, the, the gift wrapping so it just comes in this box and there you see it there just with the dust bag it's down here so here it is I was influenced to make this purchase this is not something new you've seen them around but I first saw this style of bag well not the style okay it's the quilted let me show you. Let me just show you what it is. <laughs> it is the quilted tabby 26 in the color chalk with the brass heart, the gold brass hardware. I first saw this style of bag on um, a Morbid Days video, and this was months ago. I think she purchased it before it, it hit the shelves. Since then, I have seen several people unbox the quilted tabby 26 um only a handful in this chalk color um but again i first saw it on a morbid day if you have not seen her video she has a wonderful coach collection i highly recommend you check her out i will link her down below but recently i saw um both dd bean and yoda style video they had a collaboration to show what they bought from coach and yoda had this tabby 26 and Dee Dee had the wristlet tabby. I wanted both of them. I commented on both of their videos and on Yoda, Yoda's response to me was get both just in different colors. So, which I might still do. But anyway, here is the tabby 26. She comes beautifully packaged in the factory wrapping. So let me get that off and I'll come right back. Okay, I'm back. So she is unwrapped and here she is. She's in the beautiful chalk color, like I said, with the brass gold hardware. So here is the front. Here is the side. Here is the back. And the back has a magnetic uh, pocket. Here is the other side with the um, coach tab here. Here is the bottom of the bag. And the bottom of the bag has the quilting going down the sides like that. Then we have the top of the bag and the top has those four grommets with the chain detail. And I can tell you this chain detail is phenomenal. It's a substantial chain. I mean, it's like, it's not heavy, heavy, but it's still substantial. And it's it again in that gold 
hardware with the chalk leather running through. So let me get closer. Let me just stand up. So here she is in the front. You see the beautiful CC detail. And let me just show you the top of the bag, the grommets on the top. And just to get an understanding or a look at the quilting, I don't think that's focusing and I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really tell y'all. So I am sorry if it's not. But anyway, let's get into the bag. So I'll just keep standing. Um, you open it, it's a snap closure. You open it here and it opens to a few compartments. So you have the compartment in the back. You have this middle compartment, which is a zipper compartment. You have this uh, um, compartment in the front and then this flap here. And the flap opens to another pocket. It's just kind of a more generous slip pocket here. And in the back, you will see that the leather goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag in this back flap. Um, and then you have the leather trimming here and the leather trimming off of the top here. The rest of it is in this linen material. I don't know if you can hear that. In the linen material. Um, and the same on the back of the bag where inside is that same linen material. So super cute. On the top here, and I had to put my glasses on when I was unwrapping it, it says, oh, you know what? Before I start not telling the truth, it says the tabby bag, genuine Napa leather right here. And on the push tab here or the lock, it has coach engraved there. So really, really a fantastic bag. The leather feels so buttery soft. I mean, it's one of these, I'm telling you, coach, they're really... Their quality is outstanding, and it always has been. There was a time, maybe early 2000s, where I was like, eh, maybe mid-2000s, like, oh, I'm not quite sure the direction they're going. But recently, over the last um, few years, their designs have been phenomenal. I've been truly drawn to them. But the quality materials and the quality of this leather, it's one of these things where if this was on the shelf at chanel or saint laurent or any of the dior the designer houses this would be selling for thousands and thousands of dollars easily it's just it's truly a remarkable bag anyway here it is um it reminds you and people were saying it reminds you of the classic flap i don't have the classic flap anymore i sold my jumbo so upset about that but anyway i do have my um two two by my reissue in the 227 size not the same size but the same concept i can definitely see why people compare the two because they both have that um double flap action here not the same um but certainly similar and maybe i will do a comparison of those two bags along with maybe my uh, Dior Carol bag, which is another flap style bag that I can compare these two. But this is just, this is really good. Uh, let me close it back here. The two handles um, drop here. I will put the measurements on the screen so you have them. But it's a nice drop to make it a nice shoulder bag here. And this is likely how I would wear it. But just like the Chanel and the Dior Caro bag and the Gucci Marmont, this reminds me a lot of the Gucci Marmont in that the bottom part, how it just like the, it tips here. That's similar to the Gucci Marmont. It does not have the heart on the back, which is, I was not a, a fan of, but it has a very similar vibe. So if I thought about it, it would be a cross between the Chanel Classic Flap and the Gucci Marmont. But anyway, these two straps, if you didn't want to wear it double on the shoulder, you can do it long shoulder bag. I don't know if you can see that there. That's not how I would wear it. I would likely wear it crossbody if I need it to be hands free. Hopefully you guys can see that there. Um, but I bought it to wear over the shoulder here. This is, you can't beat this. You can't beat for the quality and the price. You cannot 
beat this back. I am really, really impressed and I am grateful to be influenced by those lovely ladies as, as and with um, quite a few people who have unboxed the quilted tabbies um, on their channel. Um, it's just, you guys can't, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. The so anyway, let's get into what I would pack in it. So I currently am in my Chanel 19 um, in the size small. And if I'm looking at these, just so you see, the color gold is very similar on both. Can you see that? Tell me it's focusing. Child, if it's not focusing, I truly apologize. Um, I just need to get contacts and I just haven't. But anyway, I'm currently in my Chanel 19. And in here, it is, oh, it is pretty stuffed. So let's see what I would pack in the quilted tabby. Now, what fell was my fan um, that it just and it broke you see because I use it so much but if you know you know it's just what it is so that is definitely gonna go in there the first thing I have are some muscle relaxers that I got from um, my parents because that's where you go when you need pain medication because your parents always have some anyway the first thing is the small ring agenda you guys have seen this I use this at for as my cash envelopes because I'm a cash budgeter I will stick that in the back. Uh, then I'm still in my red Gucci card holder. I will stick that off to the side there too. So I have both of those in the back right now. Let's see if I keep it that way. I have my hand sanitizer. I'll stick that in the front here. I have my Chanel mirror. I'll stick that in the front. <clears throat> I'm using my um, Louis Vuitton six ring key holder in the black emprunt leather. I don't use this, especially now after I've gotten the Chanel six or four key holder. I don't use this and I'm thinking about selling it. But I said before I sell it, let me see if I, you know, if I'm going to regret it or not. So that's why I'm using that to kind of force myself. So I will stick that down in the front right there. I have some gum put that to the side i'm gonna move the mirror to the back here i have my um, dior hand lotion i'll just slip that in the front i have my toothpicks which are a must i have my airpods which again are a must now this is getting packed so they, they fit and I haven't used the zipper or this front flat pocket. I don't think I would. I have my Dior lip glow or the, you know what I'm talking about, lip maximizer. I just put that off to the side right there. <clears throat> and my medicine. So this bag isn't big enough to carry my medicine cabinet for my purse, but I can certainly put my Tylenol there. And then where are my glasses? Oh, here, here. I have some eyeglasses. And so this is where it gets a little wonky. So I can put that there. Let me see if it'll close. Oh, yeah. Oh, it closes perfectly. There you go. And so now my phone, which I have here, and this is the Max phone. I will put that in the back there. And it fits. Everything fits. Everything fits nicely. It is a little heavy, but it is all in there. How does it look? Does it on the front? Yeah, it looks good. So if if I the the side the back comes out a little bit because of the phone, as you see the phone here, and that's because I think if I if I take a couple things out of the front, it wouldn't bulge as much, um, and it's a little snug. So I think I would. Let me see. Maybe I wouldn't put the hand cream in here. Let me take my hand cream out for right now and see if that frees up a little bit of space. So it does make it a little bit less stuffed. The, the 
foam goes in there fine, just like it did before. It does bulge a little bit, but I think it is better with the hand lotion out, although I could use it with the end. So anyway, this is just, I am very pleased. I am very, very pleased with what Coach has been putting out. I think they are really doing a phenomenal job. I am drawn to their denim collection. I may or may not have made a purchase from their denim collection. Um, <laughs> you guys, this is not an unboxing channel. This is not an unboxing channel, but I have been doing quite a few unboxings. That is not sustainable. That is not what I'm trying to do. However, there may be one or two other unboxings coming in the near future, one of which may or may not be Coach. Um, but stay tuned for that. But in that vein of not being an unboxing channel, um, I do plan to do more reviews. I have a review coming on my Cousin, my Louis Vuitton Cousin bag that I bought in Paris last August. I also want to do a comparison of this bag along with the Chanel reissue and the uh, Dior Carol bag that I mentioned before. Um, I also want to do a review on my new, well, it was in December, my Pochette Matisse East West. So there's quite a few things coming. There are a couple tag videos that I would love to do, even though I wasn't tagged, but I'm, go I'm certainly going to jump on the bandwagon to do those. So I am not unboxed, just unboxing, um, but you, that's what you've seen a lot of so far. But anyway, the newest addition to my family is my Coach Tabby 26 in the quilted um, lambskin or Napa leather in the color chalk with the brass gold hardware. So that's it guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and getting this far in the video. And if you have gotten this far, you like what you saw and you are not subscribed yet, please do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. And with that guys, I'll see you later. Bye.